Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can add subtitles to your Zoom video recordings. So you might have a Zoom video that you've recorded where you gave a presentation or you feel like you've provided a lot of value and you want to share this Zoom call to social media. So you recorded it and now you just want to add some subtitles to it. So in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. If you don't know how to record your Zoom meetings, I'm going to put a link in the description and put it in the cards at the top of the screen. You can go through and watch that and learn how to record your Zoom meetings. Now, once you've actually recorded your Zoom meetings, let me show you on my computer. As you can see, I've got Zoom open and I've just finished recording a video to show you how I can add subtitles to this video afterwards. So if we take a look on the left, we actually have my Zoom recording files. So I'm going to be using this file right here to add subtitles to the video. Okay, so now that I have my Zoom recording, to start adding subtitles, we're going to head over to Google and and we're going to be using a tool called Veed. So I'm going to head over to my computer, jump on Google, and we're going to search for Veed, which is V-E-E-D. And once I've Googled Veed, we're just going to click on the first link, which is create, edit, and share videos online. So now I'm in Veed. If you don't already have an account, you'll be prompted to create a new account for free. And if you do already have an account, we're just going to click on the new project button in the top left. So if I click on this button, I'm now in Veed's project editor, and this is where I'm going to want to upload my video. So I can do so by either clicking on the upload video button or I can click and drag it from my documents just like this, and then it's gonna be imported into Veed's project editor. So once the video is imported into Veed's project editor, if I just play it back real quick, just so you get an idea of what the video is like. Okay, so this is the actual Zoom video. Now let's just pretend this is a normal, regular Zoom call where you're talking. As you can see, it's just like any other regular Zoom call, except I'm the only person on this call, but you can obviously record calls with multiple people and add subtitles for everyone. So to get started, I can go to the subtitle tab on the left and then click on the auto subtitle tool. Now, what this tool does is basically it automatically transcribes all of the audio from your video into text and turns this text into subtitles. So obviously you need to select the language that Veed needs to detect. In this video, I'm talking in English, so I've just selected English from the drop down menu. And then once you've selected your language, you just click on start. So if I click on start, then Veed says, please be patient because like I said, it can take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes for Veed to transcribe your audio. Now, once it is finished transcribing, there's three things you're gonna notice. First of all, we have the subtitles in the subtitle editor. Then we have the subtitles that appear on the screen. And then we actually have the subtitles that show in the timeline. So the first thing you're going to want to do is play the video back and just check that all your subtitles are at the correct times. Um, it's the correct words and there are no mistakes when it comes to what you are saying. So this video is pretty good because it shows me an example of a mistake so I can show you how to correct it if you do have any. So if I click play from here. Okay, so this is the actual Zoom video. So here, first of all, you notice straight away it says, so this is the altruism video now instead of, so this is the actual Zoom video. So what I can do is just click in the subtitle editor in the box and I can say, so this is the, and then all the changes that I make are actually gonna be made on screen in real time. So actual Zoom video. So if I play it back again. Okay, so this is the actual Zoom video. Now let's just pretend this is a... Okay, this is perfect. And then again, I just want this comma to be here. A normal regular Zoom call where you're talking to someone else or giving a presentation to a bunch of your work colleagues. And this is the video that we're gonna be adding sub. Okay, so the subtitles look pretty good to me. Now, what happens if you want to change the timing for a subtitle? Let's just take the subtitle at the beginning, for example, where I say, okay. As we can see next to each subtitle, we have the stopwatches with the beginning time and the ending time. If we take a look at the okay subtitle, as we can see, it starts at 1.1 second. If I want it to start sooner, I move the playhead to a sooner location and I can click on the stopwatch and now it starts from 0.5 seconds. However, this isn't the only way you can do it. You can go ahead and just punch in the numbers on your keyboard to change the subtitle times. And then I can make this finish at 1.2 if I wanted to make it very short. And then there you go. And once you're happy with your subtitles and there are no mistakes in them, you can actually go ahead and style them. So if I click on the style tab, now there's a bunch of presets. I like choosing this one. I like the white subtitles with the black drop shadow, but you can go ahead and change the colors. There's a bunch of different things you can go ahead and do. And it's, it's all up to you basically. But once you've found the subtitles that you like and you think that suit your video best, you can go ahead and just click on the download button. But what happens if I actually want to share this video presentation, let's say to Instagram? All I have to do is click on the canvas drop down menu and then I can find, let's see the aspect ratio I'm looking for is the square one. So it's right at the top here, one by one. And then I can just quickly drag and resize my video so that I feel like it fits properly. And then I'm just gonna take my subtitles, move them down a bit, recenter my video a bit more, maybe change the style of my subtitles to this one or just something that looks a bit cleaner, easier to read and 
make them normal again. Okay, so now I'm happy with my video if I play it back. So this is the actual Zoom video. Now let's just pretend this is a normal, regular Zoom call where you're talking. Okay, perfect. I'm happy with my video. All I'm going to do now is click on the download button in the top right, and then Veed is going to start rendering my Zoom video with the subtitles added to it. Now, if you have any questions about how to add subtitles to your Zoom video, please let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, you found it helpful, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.